Young and pleasure to meet you, mate. Uh, it's nice to be here. <laughs> now, uh, I want to start kind of broadly and talk about you now, rap music. Yeah. I think there's an argument to be made that rap music's the most personal music you can make. I mean, it's not just about um, how you feel, but it's about who you are, what kind of message you have, what you yeah. want to say. So, in the broadest terms, like, yeah. who is Young and like, what have you got to say? Do you know what? I'm probably a normal person, <laughs> just a normal guy, man. Just, I like to talk about, like, just reality. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like when you're a rapper, a lot of people think it's glitz and glam, do you know what I mean? And just chains and clubs and bottles and girls. But I like to just, I'm normal, do you know what I mean? Because I just try to just stress that to everyone, yeah. And the new, the new single, uh, Take My Number, is, is blown up. Now online, I think you've got like one and a half million views already. Yeah. I saw an acoustic version of it earlier and that had like 300,000. It's doing well. Yeah, People are receptive good. to it. You must be uh, pretty pleased that yeah. it's blowing up like it is. Very happy. And it's a song that I really love, do you know what I mean? And I feel that that means more to me. Like for it to be a song that I really, really, really wanted to go with and it doing so well, yeah. And just to be clear, is it a song about chatting up someone else's missus? <laughs> or is, it, is there something else to it than that? Um, yeah, but she don't have necessarily have to be in a relationship. She could be seeing someone or mm. a boy could be messing her about, do you know what I mean? No, well, um, the kind of the kind of rap that you'd fall into, you do a few different things, but I suppose grime is the big resurgence of rap at the moment in yeah. Britain. And Skepta, Captain Conan, even Craig David's having a dabble. Yeah. We would have seen that happen in the last Craig few years. Craig David, the legend. Uh, what is it do you think about that kind of uh, rap that sets it apart from other kind of rap, mm. and uh, and why do you think people are being so receptive to it now? Do you know what I think is very British? I think it's very British. I feel like, for example, like when when we make hip hop and it sounds a bit American influenced, mm. the Americans don't really connect to it because it's like, that's our, that's our music. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. That's how I feel anyway, I don't know if that's how they feel. But um, I think with grime it's proper British, do you know what I mean? It's proper our own identity. Like if you hear a grime beat, you know that's a grime beat. Do you know what I mean? And you expect to hear a UK voice on it or a British voice on it. So yeah, that's why I think we're doing so well. It's been, not without its kind of controversy over the last year, but mostly in the way that it's been ignored by some sections of the, the music industry yeah. in Britain. You're, you're already a, a mobile winner, yeah. uh, but of course last year it seemed to be overlooked at the Brit Awards, which yeah. is our big, you know, that's, that's our time to say this is British, this is what we're celebrating. Yeah. Um, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that? Do you think it's just a matter of time? Or yeah. do you think the artists need to get bigger or what? Because it seems to be everywhere. Yeah, I, f I feel like, yeah, I think it's just timing, man. Like, a lot of the time it takes people a while to click onto things. Do you know what I mean? And I just think this, that's just the case with it. Hopefully next year with Skepta doing so well and Stormzy doing so well, maybe they, do you know what I mean, are up for something or Crept and Conan doing so well, do you know what I mean? But I think it's time, man. I think we've had a very good 12 months, so hopefully the next 12 months can do you think uh, do you think it's the best time for someone like you to be like really breaking through because yeah. now this is bedrock of people people are used to grind music it's not a new thing anymore yeah. so it might be a good platform for someone young to come through with a fresh voice yes 100 percent, 100 percent. i think we're in the best place we've ever been do you know what i mean not only for myself even people that are newer than me do you know what i mean it's and with youtube as well now it's so easy for someone to create a buzz and create a career do you know what i mean so yeah one thing uh, i couldn't ignore was beef. <laughs> I love beef. People love beef. And yeah. like rap music and grime music thrives on beef in yeah. the same way that like American country music thrives on actual beef. Yeah. And uh, and something that's been taking up a lot of headlines recently yeah. is you and Chip. Yeah. And it's been getting so popular it even got on Channel 4 News, yeah, which yeah, yeah, I found crazy. pretty funny. Yeah, crazy. You, is that is that like part of the show? Is that part of like the attraction of, of rap, you think? Um yeah, I think I think that's what excites people the most. Do you know what I mean? If you say, oh, I'm dropping a single on Friday, people will be excited. But they'll be more excited for you to be dropping the disc record on Friday. Do you know what I mean? But they, know, they won't necessarily buy your disc record. But they, they just want to see the drama. And I think that's across the whole board. I even feel like that's in America and hip hop. Do you know what I mean? When I remember when 50 Cent and Ja Rule was going at it, like it was like the biggest thing ever. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I think, I think beef gets a lot of people. It's there. like, it's healthy, it's healthy for the industry. It, yeah. sets, it sets rap apart as well, yeah. because it adds a dimension that people don't usually have. I've mentioned it already, how it's the most personal kind of form of music, yeah. not just talking about how you feel, but being able to call people out, yeah. it's a sort of test of wits that of I think course, a lot of fans of like to see. And it's, and it's very competitive, do you know what I mean? It's when you, when you have to show how good you really are. Mm. So, yeah. Now, since you've uh, started blowing up, since, yeah. since the last uh, couple of tracks getting millions of views online, 
You know, you're getting a lot of heat on social media. Yeah. Uh, I set our Twitter experts at this earlier. Yeah. I say Twitter experts, it's just my mate Trim in the office <laughs> as a social media guy. And yeah. you, you seemingly have like close to 100,000 followers yeah. on Twitter. Now with great Twitter following comes great responsibility. Yeah. But you've also got kind of the pick of the bunch. So, <laughs> one thing you picked out is that there's a few like cryptic messages on here yeah. that would suggest maybe it didn't come from a man who's got the pick of his bunch at the moment. <laughs> All right, let me I hear mean, let me, let me read this out. Um, <laughs> this is from your Twitter account. What makes you special is that you're nothing like these other girls. Okay, it could, it could mean anything. Uh, <laughs> it's easy to remember bad times. I'm guilty of this as well, but we can't let that overshadow the good times. That's nothing to do with the girl. It's sounding romantic, That's man. That's nothing to I'll do with I'll the last one. Sometimes you just get a feeling more time than feeling is right. Now, it sounds, That's a bit, nothing to do sounds with like you're going Drake at the moment. Like, what, what's behind these messages? Them last two was nothing to do with people. It's like a car or what? No, the first one I think was a lyric. Right. I think that was a big short lyric, if I'm right. Okay. And the second one and the third one have nothing to do with girls. So, so effectively, <laughs> you're like, this is an open market for you. You're, you're, you're on the market for fans out there who are thinking, oh, let's just let's go to a show, maybe yeah. we'll click. Yeah, the, the right one anyway. No romantic Drake songs on the way. No romantic Drake songs on the way, no. That's disappointing. 